Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Fairy of Love. How are you? Welcome to your weekly horoscope. It's my birthday on Wednesday. Happy birthday to me. Ta-da! And it's a lucky day too. The week this week will have the sun that will travel in the sign of Cancer, of course. So happy birthday to you, to all the Cancers of the world, the guys and the girls and the little doggies and everybody. We love you. Happy birthday! The moon will travel in the sign of Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer, and this week starts with a very fun weekend. So the sun is smiling at Neptune and make it a very compassionate kind of weekend. We have apathy, we have an open heart, and we feel like really to make a difference everywhere we go. Well, we should, because everything we give, we get back, and everything we do is to ourselves. Well, also good news this week, Thursday. It's sort of a quite interesting, it's very, very big day. We have an intense super new moon and a partial solar eclipse in the sign of Cancer. And on the portal solar eclipse, this new moon, super new moon, really, really opposing Pluto and the sun, could bring some period of crisis, but a sense of justice, like everything is swirling really crazy. And it brings a need for deep transformations one way or the other, making it also a time for all of us uh, not to start something. The, normally with the new moon, without the eclipse, you're very good to start something fresh. But this week, absolutely not. Do not start anything new. Rather, it's better to batten down the hatches and not start anything fresh. Reschedule any important events or meetings because if you don't, you'll be sorry. All right? And remember that for the next four months, Chiron, planet of karma, okay, that balances the book, is going backwards. It stimulates the karmic wheel. It's a good time now to really fix our clocks, do the right thing. If we did something not right in the past, we could rectify it and start fresh. The universe is balancing now the books in our personal life, in society, in politics, and governmental and world affairs. Everywhere in the world, it's time now to collect the credit of our good deeds or pay the debts of our things that we don't know better. Okay, it gives us a chance also to reevaluate our lives and put our ducks in the row. A lot of astral events this week, also Tuesday, Lucky Jupiter in Scorpio, that helps a lot Scorpios, Pisces, and also Cancers, will turn direct, bringing a good fortune, good news, hope is in the air, and opportunities to really do wonderful things and make things right. Jupiter also in the water sign, especially in Scorpio, going direct after going backwards could bring some flooding or some sewage spills of some sort, but some solutions to it. And I feel, also feel that we need to be prudent when we go swimming, when we deal with water, it's more of a, it's more like delicate. Water element is something to be careful with. I believe with all my heart with the solution of Neptune in the skies right now, that the Thailand kids situation that is trapped on this case, they will start having some solutions and be rescued. Ole, I really wish it to them, but I think miracles are on the way for them. Wednesday, Venus planet of love, big day. That's my birthday, it's a big day. Well, it makes a beautiful, beautiful lucky trine to Uranus planet of change and transformation, bringing happy, happy surprises in finances, breakthroughs. So that means we'll have some good news that day. In our personal life too, things are working in our favor. In the governmental affairs, we are having some hope in the air. But still this week, because of all these eclipses, it's very important to be patient, to have integrity, to have honesty, kindness, really pays off big time. And most important, do not start anything fresh this week. Promise? You gotta be good now. Cancers, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I love you. Happy birthday to me, Jojo. Mm -hmm. Well, the new partial eclipse super new moon in your sign gives you wings, a big boost of energy with a spark of enlightenment. Your spiritual self is very, very strong. In career, good news happens. Dream big, reinvent yourself, and follow the stars, follow the signs of the universe. Your social life is more and more exciting. You really are loved everywhere you go. Get ready for celebrations, unexpected surprise, some presents, and 
invitations. I mean, wow, you will love this week. On the weekend, definitely, love will make you an offer you cannot refuse. Hmm, I like that. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, definitely show they care. Your magical color, of course, is pink. And your lucky numbers are 5 and 32. Ta-da! Leo, Leo, the new partial eclipse, super new moon in your spiritual sector brings confidence, apathy, and out of the blue kind of news in the work or health area of your life. You're in really good spirits and somehow everything to do with love and friendships, you receive generosity of heart. And remember that the gift is in the giving. So you this week, since you're receiving, it's very good to give, 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 and just everything you think about to make other people happy will really bring you a lot of good luck. On the weekend, you shine like a star and you inspire others. Your magical color yellow, lucky number six and 36, ta-da! Virgo, Virgo, the new partial eclipse a super new moon in your social sector brings popularity high intelligence and tuition your life is definitely smooth sailing you're really standing strong in everything you do your social calendar also could heat up a little bit enjoy all the excitement and the adventure coming into your life and when people offer you some free advice say thank you at the end follow your own heart this is not a week to listen to other people it's rather a week you to give advice and to follow things according to your own intuition. Studies, travel, research, getting rid of clutter, definitely favorite all week. On the weekend, romance awaits. Wow, very beautiful, tender moments for you, my beautiful Virgos. The magical color blue, lucky numbers, 3 and 39. Libra, the new partial eclipse, super new moon in your career sector brings confidence, beauty, and also a spiritual awareness of who you are in your life. Like never before, you are definitely able to affirm your needs and walk away from negative situations or negative people. Good for you. A career surprise awaits. People admire your style, your charm, and your beauty. And on the weekend, you're very popular and you attract recognition, applause, and even a little flirting if you're single. Your magical color lilac, lucky like numbers 9 and 18. Scorpio, wow, you're the star of the week with Jupiter that is moving forward in your sign, the new partial eclipse, super new moon in your karmic sector and your Jupiter in your sign moving forward. Bring hope, power, higher energy, and the awareness of what you could do of your infinite possibilities. You feel it. Wow, it's like, wow, what a change of energy. People react to everything you do and they listen to your advice. You feel definitely reborn again this week, especially after Thursday. And keep your resolutions about fitness, about diet. If you want to go for a fast, you want to look your best, you want to get fit, you want to heal, you want to do all these things, do it this week. Start the motor. On the weekend, creativity is high and you are definitely getting ready for a masterpiece. And that masterpiece is you, honey. Your magical color, Fuchsia, lucky number 7 and 21. Sagittarius, the eclipse, super new moon in your shared resources sector and Jupiter, your ruler moving forward in your spiritual house brings good news and definitely uh, things with personal possessions, car, uh, houses, homes, anything to do with your personal affairs are really favored. You feel like you could breathe again. Family and close friends definitely show they care for you. Spend time with them, okay? They need to be with you now. And take a break, travel, and really be adventurous and have fun. Enjoy your life a little bit. You've been sort of going crazy a little bit the last couple of months. Now, take it easy this week. And take the time to think about your life. Also, take care of your health. Are you in good shape? Do you need to lose weight? This is the week to really start making some resolution if you feel like it. On the weekend, flirting goes a long way. Married or single. Your magical color orange, lucky numbers 1 and 55. Ta-da! Capricorn, the new partial eclipse, super new moon in your relationship sector. Bring joie de vivre. A sense of ease. Also, a new enthusiasm where there was a problem now there's a solution and there's definitely a light at the end of the tunnel you feel better and you've done some changes in the last few months and now it's paying off in love you're very magnetic you attract also the ability to charm and convince people and if you're single you could meet someone at work recognize your leadership and also realize it's time to 
say what you want and it will get done. You gotta be the best this week on the weekend. You attract smiles and good words everywhere you go. Be proud. Your magical color, silver, lucky numbers, one and 33. Aquarius, the new partial eclipse, super new moon in your work sector brings confidence, ambition, and divine protection in love and also good news with family and friendships and somehow you are in a better place. Personal life definitely more smooth, friends and, fr and, and uh, some personal people, colleagues at work are definitely helpful and on the weekend love will surprise you in a beautiful way. Be very mysterious if you're a girl looking for love and be bold and very daring if you're a guy. Your magical color, violet, lucky numbers, 15 and 22. Spicy Spices, the new partial eclipse, super new moon in your creative sector brings popularity and also brilliant ideas. Very inspiring this week. A good time also to meet people, fall in love, and reconnect with old friends. In career, make a fresh start and go for your dreams. Because Jupiter, your ruler, moving forward brings, wow, a new win in your sales. Good luck. And the powers that be, or financial people, they could say yes now. The world opens up their door to you. So my beautiful mermaids and dolphins of the zodiac, please show up because success awaits. On the weekend, you will feel like a magician, like a wizard, so enjoy it. Your magical color, lilac lucky numbers, four and 28, ta-da! Aries, the partial new eclipse, super new moon in your home sector brings a feeling of relief. Oh, what a relief it is. Yes, more peace in your mind and breakthroughs and new opportunities to reinvent yourself in many ways, especially in your love life and your personal life and dealing with children if you have a family. It's like everything is more smooth sailing. And a chance to this week to really clean up your act. Be very proud because you have now the determination and the patience to do it right. And rewards are on the way, especially on the weekend. You will feel very loved and very appreciated. Your magical color, red lucky number, 7 and 34. Ta-da! Taurus, the partial new moon and eclipse super new moon in your communication sector bring good feelings and also a love of life. Financial luck. You've been working on financial stuff lately. It's working out very nicely. You catch your breath and you're able this week to move mountains in all undertakings and finances and love and negotiation, investments and career and all the projects. You can believe all the things you'll do this week. And by the way, you look fabulous and people say that you're doing a great job. Play lottery, invest, obviously selling, buying, negotiating, also favored because now you have the middle stats, you know how to do it. You've learned a lot of lessons and you could apply it now. Cancers, Leo and Scorpios are definitely allies on the weekend. Go out and forget about work. Time to play Taurus and have fun. It's summertime, go to the beach, take a bike ride, I don't know, just do something crazy and wild. All right, ole ole. Your magical color turquoise, lucky number six and 21, ta-da. Gemini, the partial new eclipse, super new moon in your financial sector, bring new ideas and also powerful allies in career. New doors open up, new ideas come up. Be careful with investment. Play by the rules. If you don't play by the rules, they will fire back. I keep telling you, you're a Gemini sign. It's only one way to go is on the side of history. Anything else will be mm -mm, karmic wheel is in town. Health, definitely more stable. If you wanted to lose weight or get back in shape, this is a way to really do something about it. And you could get good news about family matters and maybe the green light in the project on the weekend. You're high like a kite, so fly high, my little cute little Gemini. Mm -hmm. Your magical color yellow, lucky numbers, 8 and 44. Well, happy eclipse week, my dear friends. I'm wearing my glasses. That means it's a partial total eclipse in the sign of cancer. And it's a new moon. So again, this week, the top of the week, do not do and start anything fresh. And the best thing to think about this week is that what people think is not of our business. Because... I'm telling you, everything you think, it's always about you. Everything you feel is about you. So we meet people and attract people in our lives in order to attract their gifts and their lessons. So watch out how you judge people and learn to love people unconditionally, including yourself first, okay? Love you and kiss you. Enjoy the eclipse and put your hands in the new moon. It's very important on Thursday and make a wish about your wellness, about making your life 
impeccable. Happy birthday to me. I love me and I love you. I'm celebrating all in your honor. My greatest gift is just to give you my love, my spirit, my experience, my wisdom, and everything I have. Happy birthday to me, Jojo. Bye.